spend more time looking for stuff than I do fixing stuff. You can pretty much expect to spend 20 to 40 thousand if you've run quite a bit of material. Two or three hundred hours or four hundred hours. Billion dollar combine and you can't get the back ladder to fly up. Hey Logan, give me that total one more time. 46 96. Looks like we got one load left on this farm and another one down. So I started harvesting here last night and got about 40 acres cut and uh, it said my engine gear case was low and I knew it wasn't low. I checked it yesterday morning and it was a little over full actually. So lost a little oil. I don't know where. Uh, we can't find a leak and uh, I'm just fixing to put some in there and hopefully that remedies it. It does fill a lot of different uh, functions on the combine so maybe it just needed Something else needed tending. That's what we're hoping anyway. So. What? Oh, you found the lake? All that is, yeah. I gotta just out. We found the lake. I don't have these playing out block. Oh yeah, right there. Oh that cell noise. Oh, it's loose. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna have to because I don't need to get old. I don't need to get dust in there. I wouldn't tell you that was time to do it. I bet it's got a bad o ring on it. I probably does. I bet it's loose. You just want me to tighten it up? All you gotta do is tighten that nut there. Is that, where'd that junk come from? <coughs> That's a big one there. That came from here because I've had it come, clean completely out. That's a very one. Shut that door. Don't forget it. Big old chunk. You like it, Odin? <laughs> you like the video last night? Yeah, that's why I told uh, I told Clayton that video that we uh, released yesterday was YouTube gold. <laughs> Do what? <laughs> Pop's gonna tell some river bottom stories today. A, he's got some epic river bottom stories. <laughs> It's low because I've never seen it worn uh, like damage will occur if you continue. I've seen it worn that it was low before. What's that? Probably got two and a half. Yeah, it's touching right there. Probably need a gallon now, don't it? It wasn't as low as it was yeah. before. I don't think. Well, you put a gallon in. What's that? How much going to spend? Four gallons? Put four gallons? No, no. That The time, the, oh, yeah. when, when it was real low that day that the yeah. solenoids was leaking on the edge of the head. We got a bean pile to clean up this morning and I accidentally left a hopper door open. I manifested that because I thought yesterday morning I said we've been all season without leaving a hopper door open. And uh, what's that? I thought, I thought that that's, that's what happened. 
the back hopper was cracked just about that much. Which I think is almost worse than leaving it all the way open. On one of the semi trailers? Yeah. yeah. That was one of them manifesting thoughts. Put a half a can. Yeah, we'll probably have half a can. I'm going to put that stone trap in. So what's this gearbox go to? So uh, it says the main engine gear case. So, but I was talking to, I was questioning Cody, our mechanic, about it, uh, what all it tended, because a lot of these reservoirs do multiple functions, and that's what he started looking around on a schematic and was like, yeah, it tends all kinds of different stuff. So this actually tends the head too, and we had a. Uh, the solenoids on the head have been loose several times and we keep losing oil out of them. Same uh, problem this morning. So This is a reoccurring problem. People are just not tightening stuff up. Quality control is low. Kind of stuff never used to happen with John Deere. Getting sloppy. Too wealthy. And get bees off that wagon take them to the shop okay uh from where we didn't have a spreader on yesterday the bin is and yeah pile high on one side so i'm gonna did you look in there did i didn't i hadn't made about a shop yet logan did i was just gonna look in there and try to turn it turn the spreader and try to get it to the one side yeah and then then you pull the auger back over the pressure okay sounds good completely fill that bin i'm gonna double check your grease beans make sure they're 48x9 okay and yeah so the rest of them can be hauled off okay the other 90 acres or so. Yeah. Sounds good. Alright. I'm gonna check the uh, thank you. I'm gonna check the uh, I'm gonna check the sickle bar, see if we got any broken sections. That's terrible. That's one of the worst ones that we could have right there. It up. Yeah, I got a sickle out, right? Here.
off anymore and come. I brought, the, I, brought I got the big extra pressure. We can. Uh, if so, because I was going to pull it around here and unhook it to y'all. That way I go help Logan. Okay. Or unhook over in the driveway, but no. It'll be fine right there. Right. We ain't gonna, it, it. and I did fix some stuff. When you think after like building combat for 50 years, they come up with something better than that. And it doesn't work? It works, but you know, my dad had an E2 plane that worked, but that same thing 50 years ago. <laughs> Well, they couldn't sell it to you if they didn't reinvent it. It's true. It worked. Did you say you guys used to have a cleaner? Yeah. How do you guys like that? Well, at the time, we thought it was the greatest thing ever made. Yeah. We bought a new G cleaner. We tried, I, when I first started, with a 55 John Deere and an F, F cleaner. 1972, we traded both of them all. Pay ten thousand dollars would sound like we were idiots for a new G cleaner, but it worked out. It was real light, and that was the year that it got real wet. We got our crop out, stuck one time. A 350 Chevy on it, 15 foot head. It's got a 50 foot, so three times. About to get on my last nerve. Let's get that sickle, I think. never have enough self-tapping screws. They're good for everything. Why do you have to put self-tappers in? Because the, uh, the way that they clasp those uh, doors, if the drum gets bent, they won't stay in place and they just come off and go through the machine. So we just stick a self-tapper on them and it can't go through there. The drum's going to have to be replaced anyway at the end of the season. So we've lost, I think we've lost, how many? Such. Three or four probably through the machine. Like out the back machine? What's or that? Out the back or just yeah. falling in the rock pan? Yeah, all the way through. One of these times I'll get her through. That drum's just super hard. How much does that drum cost? I would guess it is fifteen hundred, but I don't know. I've never priced one. You can pretty much expect to spend twenty to forty thousand per combine per season if you've run quite a bit of material. Two or three hundred hours or four hundred hours, twenty to forty thousand. I would guess on average repair and parts.
we had a S670 last year that had, I can't, I think it hit a chunk or something, but I think the other repair bill was about 50 grand, so they can get pretty pricey. What's that? I think it's ready. What's that? You got to tell stories. Trying to get Pop to do a YouTube video today. Come on, Pop. You do, you know all kinds of stories. Everybody wants to hear Pop's stories, don't they? We'll get him on the podcast. You, you, yeah. You can sit in the seat and I'll skate. You won't drive. Huh? huh? Seriously, do a little YouTube segment. I'll drive later on this afternoon <laughs> when we get more help. You don't want to drive a truck or a wagon. I don't drive a truck. Million dollar combine and you can't get the back ladder to fly. So well, how many fries is that? Too many. Four or five. Now we gotta scoop up last night's grain mess. Be ready. You have to touch your wheel hard, like this. Otherwise, got to cut out ring. Cut out ring. What? It's yeah. keep all the dust away from that hydraulic stuff you get into bigger problems than you got. Now well, this worked. Oh I see what I was going on in there. Ingenious. <laughs> I don't run all his inventions. Where's Homer at? He hasn't been feeling too good this week. He's got a uh, he's got allergies real bad and soybean dust especially uh, bothers him. So Homer makes himself scarce during soybean season.
It's a valve. And there's our culprit little cut over here. I got one at the shop, I know. Maybe Homer's got one in here. Huh? Is it round or flat side? It's just round. I think so. I think so, just a regular metric o ring. Yeah. I don't got my phone on me, I don't think. No, I do. Hello. Oh. Didn't answer. Yeah, there, there is at the parts cabinet. There is in the parts cabinet. Bikes around the shop. I think Zach is dumping at the restaurant. Hello. Guy. Hey. You're around the shop. Oh uh, yeah, we're moving an auger over here to the threshers. I need I need a metric O ring. Um, you think one somebody could run one the kid over here to me? Yeah, uh, Blake's got some in his truck. Okay, uh, we need it. Okay. ASP pronto. Right. I guess they sold all our augers over here too. The what now? Wait, you hear me? What's that? I guess they sold all our augers over here too. Sold the augers. No, Matt put them in the shop so they wouldn't get taken. Oh, I got you. He was scared some. He was scared somebody at the auction might take them. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. I'll have Blake bring them to you. Alrighty. Uh, See. You. you should probably go plug that hole if you're gonna be waiting. So yeah. Dust doesn't get, dust get in all there. Off in there. That'd be bad. Wouldn't it? it shouldn't be more than just a couple of loads over there. Fifty eight. Great. Three and a half loads at my house. You got that already? Uh huh. Huh? They're on their way over here. I'll meet him halfway. I can't sit still. Huh? I can't sit still waiting on them. I, I can't compare it once he gets here with it if I don't have it. I'll bring the whole set with him. How about that? Are you going to take the shop truck? I, no, I got all my stuff out. I'll take it back. Oh, okay. Now. He'll be back here before you can get over there. What's that? Don't lose our O-ring. What now? Wait on the O-rings. I threw, uh, I threw a box of metric bolts in the truck this morning, and I had a box of metric O-rings set right beside the metric bolts. I said, I probably ought to throw them in there, but I didn't. <laughs> it wouldn't have mattered. I could have brought every part in the shop here, and I'd have needed whatever I didn't bring. So we're right here on the Ohio River Bluff, and the Indians lived, uh, or the people call them Indians around here, but they're actually uh, ancient I guess some people would consider them cavemen or whatever about 5,000 years ago. There was a lot of people, probably more living here then than now, believe it or not. But they were living all along this river bluff here and fishing off in the swamps and the bottoms and hunting. And uh, I think they had a pretty sophisticated way of life. Yeah, maybe we go. Thank you. Uh, about the, uh, do we want to use the 513 we're going to is, or do we want to put the Branson? Just put the Branson. 
All right, well then, we're about to act max that we've had clean at the co-op. We can either use it on as, or we can put it on Gary. That's what me and Poppy were talking about, because the rise not in yet. Yeah. I've got eight bags out there of that wheat. Yeah. Can we just go and dump it in the drill and go back over there on Gary where I stop that? Yeah. Go from there on to the... You know, oh, Gary Thrasher. Oh, Gary, who, what Gary were you Gary talking about? Gary Pearson. Just drill it on as. Have a co-op trade. They can trade. They got a good trade. Think they'll trade it? Yeah. Okay. I have to talk to Chris about it. Then we need to get a hold of Barney and tell him to cancel that branch because he, he said he had early mature branch. Well, you that still had, still have to have some because you don't got enough to drill at all. Not much though. One bag, each bag, or two bags is over 20 acres. Yeah. So you you could do just two bags today or something. Mm-hmm. What were you getting per bag? Huh? Well, because you're gonna kick the right. Yeah. Her bag right, right, right. So, but well, there's 40 shelled out there, so you could do four bags out there. Just get Barney to treat four bags of the Branson. Okay. And then that that'll get you going today. Just plant as is wheat today. Up to up where you to, shell. Up to where I've shelled. And we'll, we'll leave kind of. Yeah, and I just time. don't think we want the wheat out there on Gary where we're going to put corn because it just antagonizes it so bad. And on man, Gary, here's Thresher. On Gary Thresher, okay. Yeah. Right. That's what, that's what on Gary Pearson is going to be beans, so we can go, that's we can what, use the wheat down there to do our drains and stuff. Okay. Like anywhere we're going to use beans, we can just put wheat instead. Okay. Like down there on Gary Pearson, we can use that wheat from the co op again. Yep. I'm fine with either one. Like if we get short Branson and want to use 505 or vice versa and put them in the same field, it's not going to matter. They'll come off because. Like, we're going to be at the very end of wheat harvest when we harvest Wiggins, and it'll have a good 10 days, and that'll, you know, usually those wheat varieties are like one or two days apart, so. Okay. Then we need to, need to decide on which variety we're going to eat. I guess I just do it with Poppy. Poppy was jumping them down about no wheat, no wheat until I get my rye, my rye, my rye, and now we're out of rye, so I'm like, the wheat, the wheat, the wheat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we might as well just drill the wheat. Okay. And I'll just call, call Barney just and tell him. Just to just... clean out, i just clean out Zach's planter, you know. The, okay. Just let him drill the wheat with that wheat drill okay. and put Zach on the production wheat though. And we'll at least get, you know, part of his contract in case it went to raining. That's where I'm starting to get scared yeah, of. We could fill his contract because okay. it's a small contract. Right. 40 that, acres would fill it. The weather's what I'm trying to get scared of. Yeah. I, it's gonna I, be last run. I mean, you might get into a position where we can't get any more drills. Well, I'm thinking so. it's going to be a last run right here because the next time it rains and it's cooled off, it won't ever dry back out. It may not. Because so. time change, you know, it's not as much daylight yeah. to dry it all out. Yeah. Okay. All right. I already hear Jim Rollins running. He's our neighbor over there. Beans must be ready. Two dollar O ring cut us out. Of an early start. It's a solenoid for. Um. So this solenoid probably switches header functions between like uh, I don't know, maybe four and a half or something. Well, let's see. Where's it going? That goes to the gearbox, and that one. So it's probably. This solenoid's going to the gearbox and maybe the reel, it looks like. So, or those cylinders that uh, camber it side to side. So, any of these valves, what they're doing is they're just uh, allowing deer or whatever manufacturer to do multiple functions, you know, off the same set of hydraulics. So, it allows you to use one button in the cab for multiple functions. So, like, you'd hit a toggle button in the cab and it would toggle to a different function and I hadn't looked to see which function this one goes to but that's what it's doing it's just toggling the machine from one function to another it switches the flow of the hydraulics and you can see the the block has different areas where the hoses supply different needs so that's basically what you're doing there Here comes the cavalry.
That would be important. Well, yeah, we'd be squealing if we didn't plug that. It says it's collecting error information. How about just cutting that switch off where it can't do it? It works, Yeah. Let's make you want an old combine again. And um, he's got less patience than I do with one of those things. <laughs> he ran as fast as he is. Which ended up costing money, but I guess that's the So the uh, center draper uh, jam, and it has a door that sits really close to it, and it gets wet material in there. It'll stop it every time. Good to go. What you say? That'd probably be the end of my career if I run over a truck. You know. He says that he's a storyteller. He's a storyteller. We were laying. My grandson and I, he was telling me the other day that uh, he said, I, I was guilty of, of this because we bought a you know, liquid irrigator sprayer mm -hmm. and I took it out in front of my house. We we're going to spray some burning down chemicals. Well, wasn't used to those booms. I caught it on the telephone pole, pulled the telephone pole down. But to hear Neil tell it, I pulled three or four down. <laughs> he told the story. I said, your daddy's fibbing. He said, that's what he said. He pulled three or four telephone poles down. I said, it wasn't but one. That's enough. But he, he, he juices stuff up so a little bit. Yeah. What was the first combine you started running? Well, let's see. It, it was probably uh, an E Gleaner. I can still remember at the time, uh, my mother and dad owned that with Bluegrass at a restaurant, ran it, and uh, I remember bringing it in on a uh, flatbed two ton truck, like that old one back there, that roll back there. Uh, that and the header was on that one truck. And that thought it was brand new up in uh, Illinois, a dealer. They done business with for years. Oh, but um, I thought the time has got to be the finest machine I've ever seen. Which is, you compare it to a uh, one we rode as a kid, those full type Alice Chalmers. We pulled it with a WD. It was. Uh, Nice machine, but that's the first time. My first combine I, I personally ever owned, I bought it second hand with a '55 John Deere, and um, pretty nice combine. That's why we traded it off for 
When I first went to Parliament, I bought that. They made one year with it. No, I made two years with it. And then we traded it for that G Gleaner. That year they got wet, 1972. People still had beans in the field. First of the year, that year. People think it won't rain every day. It did for uh, like six weeks that year. Every day, if it, if it wasn't raining, it was too much water. There's a lot of cre uh, crop left in the field. I was fortunate enough. We had that new combine, we got most of it out early, and then we did some custom work. My wildest dreams, I never thought I'd be driving anything like this. I, I don't see how it could come. This far, it's been what, maybe 50, 60 years? What? No. I don't think we can that many beans, do you? Uh -huh. I don't think so. Uh, I wish we had. It's stuck. It was. Oh, just get ready. Uh, it was messing up yesterday, too. I thought. Sometimes I get a piece of corn or soybean stuck. I meant to check that this morning, but I did check that stuff. Hello. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Grill what with it? Uh, How do you like that auto sticker? I can't part without it. <laughs> really? It's well, it's great. I remember <clears throat> we first, probably eight or ten years ago now. Uh, Neil was wanting to go to all there. I said it's a luxury. We don't need it, but we end up going with it anyhow. And uh, make a long story short, we had one day that. Uh, of course, back to the uh, satellite coverage. And I was planning, couldn't, couldn't get my auto steering work. He says, use your marker. Well, I guess I got used to it then. I said, no, nah, you got to come get it going. He, he came, got, the, <laughs> got it going. But there's no way that I could take a 50 foot head and hold it. Like, like it is. So, yeah, it's gonna gain you some, some efficiency. I had a guy who used to work for me, he ran the comp, West Backwater uh, International Combines. He ran the combine for me. He'd always leave two, three foot. He said, I gotta get them all. Double crop soybean. It sounds nice. I don't, I'm not a big fan. You get two crops in one year. But you're going to take a little cut on your on your soybeans versus you know full crop. It's so time critical when you're a double cropping. You get a combine breakdown or rain out, miss weeks planting, you know, when you're planting the beans back, you've lost a lot of yield. A big double crop area though in Kentucky is well, One of 
or better wheat crops, tie it in with decent beans, but make a little money. Uh, I got a little bit of a mess. That's all that said. Nope. Uh, subject to flood down here. I have seen uh, water up there where your truck set. It don't seem possible, does it? Those years it gets up in the 50, uh, 60 feet range, uh, which I've known three or four of my life time, I guess. I remember back uh, when my father was alive. Uh, she remembered that when there was a 37 flood, and from 1937 to 19, until the 70s, you know, there, there wasn't a backwater that much that could compare with it. But it's, the river got up to like 56 feet. He said, he want to go to, he said, y'all never see this again in your lifetime. Water that high, because he said, I've only seen it once in my life. <laughs> so we went and got the boat, rode all through the river bottoms, you know. And I guess since then, it's been a better 10 times right now. It's kind of unusual. crappy job of cutting. I just can't handle it. Drive me in the stretch. It's like a, a big old machine. <laughs> you ever attempt to combine or attract her before? Uh, no, thankfully I hadn't. I've had a few close calls. We had a I think it was an international combine. Got pretty good. It was hill about like this. I, I had a corn head on it. And when I went up the hill, she stood up. But the corn head caught it and went back down. So. Now, that was luck. about their wall go. It looked like dust is so bad. You know, it's one of the dustier seasons I can remember.
slow going. Come on now, man. You know what I mean? The little spots suck. I've watched so many TikTok videos of YouTube videos of scrolling until I can't scroll anymore. 386 acres. Laughter. Yeah, with corn and soybeans. Not bad, man. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Friday. So we'll cut this this farm, and I'm sure grief today, and then probably get moved to another field. I don't know if they'll want to after they get that bean field cut the grief farm. I don't know, they'll probably want to go back to corn. I don't know though. You might as well go drill whenever we get, uh, you know, let's get moved and then you can go. Okay, where are we going to next, Ren or uh, uh, Grief? I think Grief. <laughs> let's see, <laughs> what are we, if they get, yeah, if, uh, I can dump this truck, I'll dump this truck, um, let's see, y'all can get combine, auger wagon, and chop truck, and then I can bring this truck down to meet y'all. Okay. Well, can you hook the header up? The yeah. Up? Yeah, might as well hook it up. Hey, Logan, give me that total one more time. 46.920. Looks like we got one load left on this farm and another one down. say if we're going to go to grief or what. Still going, ain't it? <laughs> Today, very much so. It's been like having beans here lately. But we're about done though. Don't like much. <laughs>
It don't matter where you go in. Don't need a beer. We'll be hitting all kinds of mailboxes. <laughs> There's some. I know some around here that that don't farm unless they're drunk or whatever. No more. I don't know. Hey, Clayton, would you want me to go to the dollar store real quick up there? 
Sure. Try and get some figs. <laughs> Cause Jonathan ain't coming now. He ain't. He, Pop said he's going to church. <laughs> he's doing what's right. <laughs> no. No, he's going to church. <laughs> Can't fire your brother-in-law. <laughs> yeah. I'd call him like Kenny. Oh, Kenny? No, he's coming. He's delivering fuel, though. Yeah. I was Neil and I had a brother. Oh, dude, me and him would fight all the time. <laughs> I'd probably call him just to pick on him. He was trying to call somebody, so I handed him my brand new phone. I went hand to him. He had his hand there. Then he closed his hand. Bloop! I thought he, oh, I was gagged. I was gagged out. Do you remember whenever. I think we were in high school. I think he was with us. And we come around that, uh, we were past the Humphrey Creek Bridge, around that Liney Woods, and there was that truck that had flipped over, and they were taking that high lift. And yeah. Jack, and it was yeah. raising the body, yeah, it was just bit, crushing yeah. the body panel. Yeah. And yeah. then they realized it was doing it. Yeah, like, this is they crushing were devastated. The truck. <laughs> oh, he needs. He, Going on your car, I was like, because it's, it's fresh, we need to get some dirt on it, some rain. Wayne's got it. It'll be good. God, he's a nice guy. He's about, guy, like he's about to kill us. He's about to fog us out for sure. Yeah, when it rains on it, it'll be good. It'll be nice. It's smoother. I know that, especially coming right. off down the good talking ramp. to you. See ya. See you, See ya. <laughs> Just so lucky, Cody Holder had a pair. Everybody else had flip flops. Cody had a pair of tennis shoes on. <laughs> we tied right there. Boom, that's the only start we got, boys. <laughs> you better go to the house. It does is something else this year. It's about four times as bad as I've ever seen it. I call everybody about three times a day. I, I don't do that. I don't call everybody. No, they... Neil ain't got time. Everybody calls him. <laughs> 75 to 100 calls a day is Shoot. what it gets. It's a lot. <laughs> I've been hunting before when I had old crappy phone. My wife just kept blowing me up. I said, my phone's about dead. She just kept calling, bloop. I thought it was blind eyes. I'm tired of it. I told you my phone's dead. <laughs> dead for here now. Yeah, it's definitely dead now. Yeah. Man. Just calling for no reason. Well, I was bored. I forgot to call you. I said, why are you trying to hunt? Why do you keep calling me for it? That's a bad. Oh, I guarantee the water thing? was over this. What did, uh, what did how the top off do good? I guess it did. 58 or something like that. We're gonna go back and get a few more trucks and uh, be back the... again. Hello. Hi. Do you say that now? Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. It it has the little uh, the little yeah yeah, and now it's a C that they don't want. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Well, just load it to go to Man City, I guess, or to Bungie, and I'll, you know, just take it over there in the morning. Closes at 6 tonight. No, they they close at 6, or I, I'll take, I, let's see. I'd have to take it right now. Okay, we're going to go get some more stuff. Okay. No, Blake got him. He was ready to go, so Blake got him. He hung up. <laughs> Poppy's in a hurry. What was he wanting to haul some off again? Yeah, he said we need to haul these off. We got a contract to fill. We shall return. 
500 combine got another field knocked out this afternoon so he's ready to go to another one in the morning and we've got a load sitting on the wagon waiting on us uh, what are we doing outtake for a YouTube now uh, for the Tuesday YouTube so I don't need to say when or whatever no. oh, do for the combine thanks for watching our YouTube like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>